It's time for the Family Feud International Beauties Contest, introducing five Miss Universes. Sean Weatherly, Corina Sopay, Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Janelle Comision, and Margaret Gardner, ready for action. And five Miss USA's, Janine Ford, Mary Therese Friel, Kim Tomes Dutton, Barbara Peterson, and Judy Anderson. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. Just coming into the studio, and there was an elderly gentleman selling flowers. And I bought them. Yeah. You probably know him as Bert Parks. <laughs> uh, he's a nice man. He's a good... Listen, we're going to have a good time. We've got ten beautifully bright, intelligent, pretty women. They're all winners. Miss Universe, Miss USA. They're gonna play five games. First team to get the best three. They're playing for charity. They'll be the champs, they'll be crowned. Make them feel at home, please. The beautiful Miss Universe. <laughs> the first flower. Oh, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah. How nice to have you here. Thank you, it's nice to be Thank here. You. Now, you're the current Miss Universe? That's right. Okay, Sean, would you tell me, introduce me to everybody. All here, right, okay? to my left, this is Karina Zack, and she's a Miss Universe from 1964, but she sure didn't look like it. <laughs> Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, she was originally from Alabama, and she's Miss Universe from 1967. This is Janelle Commission, she's from Trinidad, oh. and she was Miss Universe in 1977. And next, and not least, but <laughs> Margaret Gardner, a beautiful girl from South Africa, oh. and she's Miss Universe from 1978. Well, we're delighted to have you here. Now, what charity are you playing for? Is it, you're both playing for charity. What charity are you playing for? The Miss Universes are playing to earn money for the charity UNICEF. Okay, that's wonderful. We wish you lots of luck. Thank you. Okay. This way I get to meet everybody. Thank you for being here. 64 was a good year. Thank you. <laughs> 67 as well. Thank you. I've always wanted to go to Trinidad. Do you live there now? Yes, I do. If I came there. Would, Definitely. Would you show me the island? I most certainly would. I might, you know, just become a beachcomber. <laughs> and what part of South Africa? Cape Town. Well, I've been to Cape Town. That's pretty, Durban, isn't it? Durban, yeah, and Johannesburg. Mm, friendly we'll people. We'll talk about that a little later, right? <clears throat> Got some more fun. Now, come on, make them all feel at home. Miss USA right here. <laughs> I'll get you flour. There you go. Thank you. You're gorgeous. You're so nice. And you're the current... Miss USA. Yes, I am. Please introduce everybody. I'd love to. First, we have Mary Therese Friel, and she is from New York, and she is Miss USA 1979. We have our newlywed. <gasps> yes. <laughs> this is Miss Kim when? Tomes when, when, when Dutton. Did, when did you get married, Kim? Four weeks ago. <laughs> Real new. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Now, when was she Miss USA? She was Miss USA in 1977. And next, all the way from Minnesota, we have Barbara Peterson, and she was Miss USA in 1976. And from Hawaii, Miss Judy Anderson, and she was Miss USA 1978. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> what charity are you gonna play for? Well, this is, a, this is especially a special charity for us to represent today because these are the past five Miss USAs, and we have all done work for this charity, and that is the American Lung Association. Okay, we wish you lots of luck. And thank you for being here, darling. Thank, thank you. you. Are you studying Thank law? You. Yes, I am. Me? I'm getting ready to go back to school uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's marvelous. And you're the newlywed? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was going to do I know, that. I have a cold oh, and I, I want see. you to get it. Uh, thank you. Be happy, yeah? What's your husband's name? Cody. Is he here? No, he's not. He's back in Texas. Blow him a big kiss cowboys. right now. Okay. Mm. She <laughs> misses you, Cody. <laughs> And pretty Barbara, you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year's. Ah, uh, what a nice thing to say. And last, pretty. it's yours. Thank you. Judy, Judy, Judy. Thanks. We're really delighted you're here. We're going to have a good time. Come on, let's play the funeral. Oh. 
How did I miss that? We have something to present to our favorite guy on the show. Richard, this is from all the girls and myself because we're so happy to be here. And I know all my girlfriends are envious of me because I get a kiss, a kiss from Richard. So here this is Oh from my. Us. Thank that you. That is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Do you see that? Thank you. I'll have that in my study. That's beautiful. Thank you. And any of you, or except <laughs> not for Kim, she just got married, but anyone can come and visit this in my study anytime you wish. Here we go now. Hop your hand up. Here we go. 100 people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board. You have to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something you have more than one of for breakfast. Eggs. Eggs. All right. Good. 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 You're going to play or pass? Talk it over. Play. We'll play. You're going to play. What a dynamite way to start. Something you have more than one of for breakfast. Bacon. Bacon. We'd like Woo! some bacon. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Uh, toast. Here's another yes! good answer. Yes! Toast plate. Yes! $52, you're rolling along. You Cups know? of coffee. Coffee, yes! yeah. Hey! Coffee. Yes! Something you have more than one of for breakfast. Glass of orange juice. Okay. We'd like more than one glass of OJ. <laughs> Not that. Well, that's a good answer. Just didn't make our survey. That's a strike. Pieces of ham. Pieces of ham. All righty, my darling. Ham! No, not there. Two strikes. Pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Good. Yeah, we like pancakes. Is it there? Not there. Chance for you to get $89. Come on, darling. You've got to give me one answer. If it's up there, you get the money. Well? Sausage? sausage. We're going to say sausage. Okay. Was that the only answer you came up with? Well, no, they well, stole pieces. They, 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 they didn't steal it. They were playing. The sausage is a goodie. Jimmy Dean will be happy if it's up there, and so will you, because you'll get the money. Sausage up there, $89. If not, Sean and her lovelies got it. Sausage! Number five. Biscuit. Number six. Donuts. I just gained four pounds doing that question. We'll be back right after that. All the ways to have a Whopper could unite the nation. No matter if you like Impossible or Double Bacon, we can agree there's a Whopper for you. 200,000 ways, boom, there's the proof. have it your way. Domino's drop to a location near you with new Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. Just choose Pinpoint Delivery on the Domino's app, drop a pin on the map, and get pizza delivered just about anywhere. Here you are. Thank you. It's Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. I'd do anything for you, dear. Anything for you mean everything to me. If we've learned anything from Grimace, it's that you're never too old for a McDonald's birthday party. Celebrate this June with Grimace's birthday shake when you order his birthday meal only at McDonald's. Boo, 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 boo. Whopper, Whopper, build your Whopper. Barbecue, bacon, more cheese, no shocker. However you like to top your Whopper, you know what we'll say. Just out in the audience. Are those your sons? All of them, yes. They're so handsome. Thank you. There they are. Okay. 
Got $89 there, nothing there. Come on, sweetheart, right here, let's go. Wait. Whatever <laughs> hand's good for you. Okay. All right. 100 people surveyed, top seven answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something parents always want to know about their daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> Is he from a good family? Is he from a good family? <laughs> Two answers will be the queen. What does parents always want to know about their daughter's boyfriend? I have three boys. Uh, well, um, is he rich? Is he rich? <laughs> yeah, it's there, but you got control. You're gonna play or pass. Play or pass. <laughs> Come on. Play. You wanna play? play. You wanna go for it? Play. We're gonna play. Yeah, I like Kim's spirit. She says, play, let's play. Something parents always wanna know about their daughter's boyfriend. Does he drink? Good. Uh, Is he a boozer? <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, Barbara? Um, I think probably my father would ask uh, what his occupation is. Mm -hmm. Does he have a good job? Yeah. Oh, baby, stay safe. Number one. Do you? Um, Do you is he that? handsome? Is he good looking? Oh, all right. No. Oh. Oh, I don't think parents care about that, do they? <laughs> well, let's see. My, well, I know what my dad would say. Let's say if, because uh, he had a good education. Okay. Good if it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Is he a bum or has he got a good education? <laughs> Darlin's $49. You can get the money right now if you give me the right answer. Religion. 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 His religion. Okay, fine. If that's there, Darlin, you get the money. If not, big lead for Miss USA. His religion. Number two. Hey, number four. Attention. Number six. Attention. Attention. So I didn't know he had a choice. We'll be back right after that. Okay, Miss USA, you have $89. Miss Universe, $49. Good. Timbo. Okay, first team to get 300 points will play for $5,000 for their charity. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a way to relieve a backache. Get a massage. A massage. Very good. Only one answer will beat it, Sylvia. Way to relieve a backache. Take a hot shower. Hot shower. Good girl, it's there. Gonna play a pass. Pass. Gonna pass? We're chicken. All right. We'll see. <laughs> I don't think this is hard now. You know? Way to relieve a backache. Medical attention? What we call MA. Medical attention. That's good. That's good. I like that. She's a doc. <laughs> While you're in town, see Dr. Wu. Wear a corset. Corset? <laughs> yeah. You can have a backache and wear it. That's okay. That's legitimate. A corset! Oh. Oh. I did. I swear to you that I hurt my back on Hogan's and I had to wear one for about six months. It's murder. Hated it. Way to relieve a backache. Get off your feet. Uh -huh. All right. Get off your feet! What do you mean? Get some painkillers. Painkillers? Yeah. Okay. Painkillers! Not my idea of a painkiller, but I see your point. I was gonna say that. Were you? I was gonna say pills. Well, you'd have um, been right. Gee, I don't know this because my husband has a bad back. Does he? Well, then try and think um, of something okay. that he well, likes. Okay, let me put the heating pad on it. Great. Right. Well, yes, oh, yeah, okay. That's good. <laughs> heating pad.
Make a note in the communique, no news from Trinidad. Um, lie in the sun, get warmth. Lie in the sun? No, take a sauna. A sauna? Which one would you like? Just give me one Maybe answer. one of those. Um, sauna. Sauna, yeah, you're, you're thinking of who do you choose. Uh, that's a different show entirely. If sauna's there, you're all right. You got it all. If not, get ready to steal all that money. A sauna? Yeah, come on. $184, it's yours if you give me the right answer. A way to relieve a backache. Stretching exercises. exercises. And exercises. Well, We're going to say stretching exercises. If exercise is up there, darling, you get the 184. If not, Sean, you and your ladies get it. Exercise! Oh. We got the money! Number six. Have someone walk on it. 233 plays 89. Let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers. On the board, here's the question. Name something people have to stand on a chair to do. Yeah. Hang a picture. Hang a picture. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I'm going to say to get something out of a cupboard. Out of a cupboard. All righty. And a player pass. I thought your answer was going to be the number one answer. We're going, we're going to play. Going to play it? Mm -hmm. All righty, off you go. Here we now. go. Didn't you? I really thought hang a picture would be the number one answer. Something people have to stand on a chair to do. To change a light bulb? Could they? Change a light bulb. <laughs> Truly, I'm proud of you. That was just a four dollar. I'm going to say, let's see. I'm going to say to, uh, yeah, of course I would hang, say that. Hang something up. I can't think of anything. Hang, some, hang anything up. Hang something up? Hang, hang yourself? I don't know. <laughs> hang something up. That's what she's doing. I'm hanging myself. I really can't think to of anything. To hang it. yourself? I think that's been used, hasn't it? Yeah. Or paint to paint. Oop. I'm sorry. How can they look so beautiful and be answer. so strong? Uh, to paint? To paint. That's my answer. All righty. Paint! <laughs> Not there. How about to dust something, the top of Good something? Good. I think so. Looking for dust. <laughs> no? oh. Kim. Some people have hmm. to stand on a chair to do. To uh, three, <laughs> three seconds. Three seconds. <laughs> To stretch up higher. No, to, to, um, I don't know. Chance for you to get enough money. Come on, up here. It'll make you the champs. You'll go for $5,000. Have a dress. Something people have to stand on a chair to do. Your answer is? Put the hem in a garment. All righty. Put the hem in a garment. If it's there, you get the money. If not, you're still alive in the game. Ham a garment. You got it. Number three, please. Hang her. Oh, See, look at that. When you were saying hang and, something, and right? But then you changed your mind and said paint. Number four? Wash window. Wash window. Oh. Wash window. Now, 243 Miss USA, 233 Miss Universe. It's going to decide it. Let's go. Judy? Yes, under the Geneva Convention, I must have you up here. All right. <laughs> This is going to decide it. Dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a place where people have picnics. Yes. At the beach. At the beach. Good. Good. One answer would beat that, Judy. At the park. At the park. You got it. What are you going to do? Play a pass. Play. I'm going to play. Oh, well. All righty. Place people have picnics. I'll try at the lake. Looking for a lake. <laughs> yeah. uh, how about taking a nice drive into the country? Okay, the countryside. <laughs> and, give you that okay, place. how about in a uh, new house, like you're moving? Have a little All righty, if the oh, new really? house is there, you are alive. If not, third strike. New house. <laughs> 
You can be the champ, Stalin. You'll play for five thousand dollars if you give me the right answer. A place people have picnic. Backyard. 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 The backyard. All righty. Backyard is there. You are the champ. You play for five thousand dollars. If not, Miss USA will play for the big money in the backyard. In the forest. Stay in route of mom. Will you do that for me? Stay in route of mom. I need two people to play. Who's gonna play? Two people. Come on, come on. Who's first? Who's first? All righty. Come on. John and Janelle are going for $5,000 right after we watch this. Well done. Survey said. You're not going to throw up, are you? Oh, of course not. Jump up and down. Spin around and round. Jump up and down. Good answer, honey! Jump up and down. They don't write songs like that anymore, do they? <laughs> On Family Feud Classic. Watch now. Two Whopper Juniors for just $5. Six options, so much to offer. Barbecue, bacon, cheese to name a few. Only five bucks, then you get to pick two. BK, having your way. Stop waiting in line at drive throughs just to place an order. Use the Domino's app on Apple CarPlay instead. Okay, what should we get? Ooh, pineapple. What should we get? Carry out any large one-topping pizzas for $7.99 each when you use the Domino's app on Apple CarPlay. Poderoso gel contra el dolor de la artritis. Voltaré. El placer de moverte. New York State and Price Chopper Market 32 are proud to present Sheila E. at this year's 4th of July celebration. Spend your 4th at the Plaza for free. A Capital Region tradition since 1976. For the full schedule, visit EmpireStatePlaza.ny.gov. Some ales on me. Whoa! Your cousin from Boston. Whose pool is this anyway? Ah! None of us know. Sam Adams Summer Ale. Light and citrusy. Perfect for summer. $5,000 for UNICEF. Here we go. 15 seconds, please. Name something people carry in their hands as they board airplanes. Um, boarding pass. An animal that seems big and dumb. Uh, elephant. Part of a car your life depends on. Uh, the tires. A card game with a one-word name. Uh, gin. Something you hang up at Christmas time. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. I always hang mine. Turn around. Yeah. Good okay. <laughs> Some of the people carrying their hands as they board airplanes, you said boarding pass. Survey said. <laughs> Good. An animal that seems big and dumb. You said elephant. Survey said. Oh, yeah. All the car you like depends on. You said tired. Survey said. Eight. Car game with a one word name. You said gin. I said tonic. Survey said. Seven. That's good. You got 103. Let me hang up at Christmas time. The old Christmas tree, the hanging tree. Survey said. Oh, listen, you went over the 100 mark. Very good. Go back there, clear the board, and here's Janelle. Come on, buddy. Janelle, you're so well. got 103. You only need 97. Great. That's for luck. If you hear a little buzz, it means you've duplicated a word. I'll say try again. Okay. You'll do it. You're going to do fine. All right, please remind everyone the answer Sean gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something people carry in their hands as they board airplanes. 
Handbag. An animal that seems big and dumb. Gorilla. A part of a car your life depends on. Engine. Card game with a one word name. Pass. Something you hang up at Christmas time. Decorations. Okay. Card game with a one word name. <laughs> what were we going to say? Gin Rummy, but that's two words. Yeah. Well, we had gin anyway. Oh, Don't worry. And, uh, what do people carry in their hands as they board airplanes? You said? Handbag survey said? 27. <laughs> Boarding pass was the number one answer. An animal seems big and dumb. Never say this to King Kong. You said, uh, gorilla. Survey said? Five. Elephant, number one. All the car your life depends on. You said the engine. Survey said? Two. Oh, well, the brakes. Yeah, the break. Car game with one word name. Poker was the number one answer. Mm. We ran out of time. You passed on that. Something you hang up at Christmas time. You said decorations. Survey said oh. two. Oh. Stockings. You hang up stockings at Christmas time. And if you're good, Santa puts stuff in there. You can't lose. You got one thirty-nine. Five dollars for every point, and you've won one game of the contest. Not Survey. Bad. How much we got up there? Total of six hundred and ninety-five dollars for UNICEF. We'll be back right after this. Well done. Survey says, stay tuned. We'll return. Keep it here. We'll be back after this with more Family Feud Classic. Game one to Miss Universe, but tomorrow Miss USA makes a comeback. We'll see you here on the field. Bye bye. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. for the Family Feud International Beauties Contest, introducing five Miss Universes, Sean Weatherly, Corina Sopay, Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Janelle Comision, and Margaret Gardner, ready for action. And five Miss USA, Janine Ford, Mary Trias Friel, Kim Tomes, Dutton, Barbara Peterson, and Judy Anderson. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> With the 
star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. Welcome. Came down early. Miss Trinidad was about four steps ahead of the game then. <laughs> yeah, well, out of our battle between Miss USA and Miss Universe, Miss Universe has the first game. It's the best out of five. They're both playing for charities. Miss Universe, for UNICEF, you've won $1,201. Congratulations. Wow. USA, USA, $243 for the American Lung Association, but today's another day, another $5,000 up. They won the first game, make them feel at home. Miss Universe, right here. Oh, you look so pretty, all of you. Let's oh, just meet you. everybody and say hello. All right. I'd like to introduce all the rest of the Miss Universe can, girls. And this is Karina Zacks. She's Miss Universe from 1964, and she was originally from Greece. Is she beautiful? Okay. Watch out, Sophia Loren. <laughs> oh, thank you. And here we have Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, and she's originally from Alabama. She's Miss Universe from 1967. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> and next we have Janelle Commission. She's originally from Trinidad, and she was Miss Universe in 1977. Great. Great. Welcome. And last but not least is Miss Margaret Gardner, and she is from South Africa originally. Cape Town. Cape Town. And she was Miss Universe in 1978. Thank you for being here. That's a hard job to remember. All that. I love it. <laughs> I saw your, uh, your three little boys. Yes. What are their names? Andrew, Stephen, and Paris. And their ages? Uh, 11 and a half, 8 and a half, and 5 and a half. You're eating the right vegetables. You look it was sensational. not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> you look sensational. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, my darling. Hello. Welcome. We're very happy you're here. Oh, I'm happy that okay. I'm in here. Well, who came the furthest? Did you come? No, Trinidad, I guess. South Africa. Did you come from South Africa, well, or do you live it's here? It's 18 hours. Really? But I live in New York now, so... Oh, <laughs> right. You came from Trinidad. I came from Trinidad, yes. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Well, you know you came uh. down the steps early. <laughs> nice to have you here. <laughs> Miss USA, right here, make them feel at home, right now. You look gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> Let's meet them all. This, you got to remember all this every day. Maybe the, tomorrow we'll just... Make it easier for you and just say their first names. Well, it's hard to remember all these things. I think that's too hard. First, we have Mary Therese Friel, and she's from New York, and she's Miss USA 1979. She crowned me. Hello. Ah. <laughs> and next, we have our Texas girl, Kim Tomes Dutton, the only married one of our group. And uh, she's. Four weeks of bride. <laughs> Four weeks. And she was Miss USA 1977. Hey, okay, welcome. And then from Minnesota, we have Miss Barbara Peterson, and she was our bicentennial Miss USA of 1976. And then we have the lovely lady from Hawaii, Miss Judy Anderson, and she was Miss USA 1978. Okay. That's good. It's a very hard job, and you're great at it. Now, uh, can Miss USA enter, they can enter Miss Universe, right? Yes, we're supposed oh, yes. to. Oh, you're suppo can, is that a part of the yeah. Right, Juliet? we compete against, well, with the girl, and then, like, uh, for Judy and Margaret competed in the same contest when Margaret won Miss Universe. So then if you became Miss Universe, who would become Miss USA? Whoever was the, the first, first runner-up? Runner yeah. Well, it yeah? happened to me, yes. Yeah, oh, that, that's so, kind of fun. Really, we are all losers. Wow. <laughs> Now you're all winners. You really are. Thank you. And you're studying law. Yes, I am. And you interrupted your honeymoon with a cold to come and Hi. see us. Thank Hi. you for doing that. Thank you so much. Why don't you be happy? And you're a darling. Minnesota, they play a lot of hockey there. And I eat a lot of lutefisk, too. Pardon? What? And we eat a lot of lutefisk, too. What is that? Oh. Well, I'm Swedish, and uh, lutefisk is one of those Swedish delicacies. It's like lefse. It's a fish. Oh, is it? It's a fish that you eat at Christmas time with like. Do you make? Butter. Can you make that? I do. Mm -hmm. it, you have to. It, you have to cook it for a long period of time, and a lot of people do like it, but a lot of people don't like it because it's got kind of if a. You like it? I think I'll like it. Well, I wish I'd brought you some. Well, maybe I'll come fish. to Minnesota and you'll uh, invite me in for some ludicrous. Yeah. <laughs> or lipstick. Yeah. You like well, that? You know, I live in. I love the islands. I go. Been going you know, there eleven years. And I go to Oahu, and I have lots of friends. And I go to the other islands. 
Are you from Oahu? The I am, born and raised. And the other day when I was coming um, back, well, over to LA, I was there at Christmas time. they told me, well, he was on our flight. And all the girls said, but he didn't give us a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's and a I must have kissed three male. Uh, oh boy! Male attendants. No, there were some pretty ladies. No, there were some pretty ladies. Nice to have you here. Come on, let's see who wins today. <laughs> so one, two. You got five thousand dollars now for your charities. You know that. Whoever goes, you'll just need one hand because they're so pretty. Oh, whatever. Sorry. No, whatever hand you like. <laughs> okay. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. You have to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something all women love to do. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Uh -huh. oh. Terrible. Get to be taken out to dinner. Yes. Get to be taken out to dinner. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Can you play or pass? Talk it over. Play. 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 She just abandoned me. Sean just oh, rolled I away. I Okay, something women, all women love to do. Go shopping. Shopping! Right. Yeah. 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 have a word for it. Shopping. Something all women love to do? Spend money? Why not? Is that the same thing? <laughs> not the same? Okay. Is same it the same? Thing. How about uh, receive flowers? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah! Receive flowers. Oh. Well, I would have thought they would. Oh. What do you think? How about to be romanced? Uh, yeah. To you? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are you spoken for? Somewhat. <laughs> well, the way my luck's running, that's uh, to be romanced. <laughs> nope, not there. Huh? To go dancing. Dancing, yeah. all right. Margaret said she liked dancing. <laughs> not there, third strike, $48 up there. It's okay. yours if you give me the right answer. Okay. There's three answers up there. Talk, talk, talk. talk. <laughs> Something I usually love to do, talk. Really? Very chauvinistic of you all to say that. I spend my time defending women on this show, and they all say we love to talk. <laughs> if talk's there, you get the $48. If not, Sean and her ladies get it. Talk! You got it. <laughs> Number four. I was kind of disappointed none of you said that, to tell you the truth. Number five, <laughs> you were thinking. <laughs> Dress up. Didn't somebody say wear beautiful clothes? Well, we'll be back right after this. Bam. <laughs> $48, Miss USA. 
Nothing at the moment, Miss Universe. Barrena. <laughs> What well, under people survey top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a job which requires people to wash something. Yeah. Car wash. Car wash. Yeah. Car wash. One answer to David. Uh, a maid, someone who do, would a do you A maid. Oh. Not there. Pass. 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 Okay, pass. 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 Name a job which requires people to wash something. A laundry. Good girl. Laundry for Kim. <laughs> you ready to do it? You something that no woman really likes to do a lot of the, a dishwasher. Okay. Yeah. Dishwasher. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, janitor. Janitor. Let's take a look. Janitor. Mm, not foul. First strike, $78. Two answers left. You're rolling along today, aren't you? <laughs> job which requires people to wash something. Let's try a window washer. Yeah. All right, let's look. Window washer. <laughs> coming back to revenge. I was going to say I don't do windows, too. But how about, I don't do dogs, either. How about a veterinarian or, or a groomer? Yeah, where well, they do your, your dog. dog. All right, darling. If it's there, you got all the money. Rumor! No, not there. Good answer, though. Mm. I think I'm gonna have a buzzer, too. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Wash something. Job requires people to wash something. Oh, a hairdresser lady that washes hair. Hey, great answer. If it's there, you got all the money and a big lead in the game. If not, Miss Universe, get ready to steal. A hairdresser! Yeah. Yeah. The USA are on the way. We'll be back right after this. Okay, you may have had a game yesterday, but they're on their way. Miss USA, 139. Oh. Nothing here. Come on, Sylvia. Pretty cash. You got $5,000 coming up, and you'll play if you play for it for UNICEF, and you, of course, for the American Love Lung Association. Association. Okay. Good luck to both of you. 300 is the magic number, of course, which will entitle you to go for the $5,000. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Give me another word that means smart. Intelligent. Intelligent. We'll play. Okay, we're gonna play. How intelligent of you. <laughs> Who hosts your pageant? Bob Barker. Does he? Yes. Bob Barker. Now, does he host that one as well, Miss Universe? Yes, he does. He had an accident at CBS about a week ago. He fell down and broke his hair. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Bob's so a mean. good friend of all of ours. A good friend of mine. And That's the only a, reason that I would do that joke. Isn't he a delightful fellow? He is, yeah. He I've is known so him. Uh, Bob and I, and he was the first one ever to take me to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. For Ralph the Edwards. Town, yeah. Sure. And where they have a big mm -hmm. hospital that they mm -hmm. built for them all the charity work. Mm -hmm. And he goes down there, I think, every year. And I've been down Party. several times. Yeah. He's a good Yeah, Have you been there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good man. I wouldn't do that joke on him unless I loved him. <laughs> a word that means smart. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good. Let's take a look. Right, Bob Barker, brilliant. Okay, mention his name, it comes up. <laughs> now, does Bob talk to you on the show when, does he do that interview? Because I've seen pageants where they ask you to say things. I did one in Atlanta where a girl got up, and they all say the same. They say, I'd like to be kind to children, give all my money to elderly people, and be a brain surgeon. I mean, they, they make those funny speeches. Do you have to make one of those? Well, it doesn't have to be like that, but I've heard it. In yeah. the pageant, but no, you can say whatever you want. Do you have a talent area too where you Well, all the girls in the Miss Universe pageant sing and dance together, but there's no one area of competition that you have to. The dance. girl in Atlanta who beat everybody, I swear to you, had a 60 foot American flag, oh. sang the battle hymn of the Republic. It was the height of the Vietnam War. I mean, she just won, everybody cried. The only thing that would have followed it would have been a leper on the Art Baker show. You asked him. <laughs> There was no way you could possibly beat her. You know, I saw these other girls go, this flag unfurled and everybody's going, oh, oh, oh. 
Everybody's going, oh, God, I've lost. I've done. And it was true. They got the big vote. Does that, you have to do something like that? Is that a Well, it, a for about two part? weeks, you're in front of people, and then judges see you, and you sing and dance together, and you have to walk in a bathing suit, evening gown. I should be a judge at one of those. You should. We'd love I'd to like have you to do that. Maybe yeah. I'll ask Bob and see if he'll talk to him. Oh. <laughs> Another word that means much. Um, witty? Witty. Let's take a look. Witty! No, not that. Oh, guys, sorry. I think it means kind of funny, witty. What do you think, my sweetheart? Oh, let's try a genius. Genius, all right. Genius! Oh. You're too smart for the room. No I, word that means smart. I, I don't know if it's kind of a slang word, but brainy? Brainy? Let's yeah. Is it? Yeah, they say okay. brainy. Brainy's there, it means you're smart. If it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Brainy! <laughs> not that. $134 up there, you can get in this game. Clever. Miss Universe. Clever, clever, clever. We say clever. Clever. If it's there, you'll be clever enough to get 134 if not an enormous lead for Miss USA. Clever! Number three. Why? Number six. Shot. Shot. Now we got a game going. 139 there, 134. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. All right. Dollar values are double. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. You're both going to love this question. <laughs> Name something that is worn in the Miss America pageant. Yeah. An evening gown. An evening gown. Bathing <laughs> suit. A bathing yeah. suit. Yeah. Play it back. We'll play. They'd be crazy not to. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Janelle. Is that a little embarrassing? Well, I'm because. I always thought they should judge the bathing costume thing at a beach. Well, where, I just where want to say feel something. Um, we wear a full-piece bathing suit, and lots of people on the beach wear tangas, and you see much more in those kind of places. Well, I don't mean revealing. I just wondered if it was inhibiting to do it inside rather than outside. No, you're pretty well covered. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, something that is worn in the Miss America pattern. Uh, makeup. Makeup, all right. Margaret said makeup. <laughs> I'm not there. What is worn in the Miss America pageant? That's different from us, but I think they were a crown. Okay. Yes, ma'am. A crown! <laughs> Got it. Well. Flowers? Flowers. Oh. Oh. Flowers, there you got it all. Flowers! <laughs> oh. Second strike. Mm -hmm. Um. Something well, born. They wear a smile. They wear a smile. <laughs> the smile's there, you get all the money, and you'll be the champs. If not, get ready to steal. Smile! Oh, Miss USA, go. if you get the money, you can play for $5,000 for your charity. Something that's worn at the Miss America pageant. There's state sash. A sash. Okay, sash or banner. If it's there, you got it. If not, you have banner. Okay. One more. Who's going to play for the big money? I need two people. Come on. Let's go. All right. Who's going to go first? Barbara and Mary are going for five thousand dollars for the American Lion Association. I'd have to rewatch this. Family Feud Classic presents Huddle Talk. This carpet is filthy. Grandpa, no napping. Broccoli. Broccoli. Stop saying broccoli. <laughs> I can't get up. Join the conversation on Family Feud Classic.
Okay, you're going to win all the big money? We're hoping to do that for the American Lung Association. You no, know, I'd love that. All right, 15 seconds, please. Okay. Coffee is one food you can hear cooking. Name another. Popcorn. A fruit tree. Orange tree. A room in the house with a clock in it. A living room. Out of 10, how many people always tell the truth? Three. Something used to apply makeup? Um, a brush. A brush, good. Mommy, you're good. Come on. Coffee's one food you hear cooking. Name another. You said popcorn. Survey said. Fruit <laughs> tree, you said an orange. Survey said. Seven. Room in the house with a clock in it, you said. Living room, survey said. 11 of 67. Hmm. Out of 10, how many people always tell the truth? You said three. Larry, Moe, and Jeff. <laughs> survey said. Seven. Oh. And you used to apply makeup, you said a brush. Survey said. That's yeah. what yeah. you yeah. 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 Up you go. Nine. 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 We wish you luck. So if you do any duplications, <laughs> you hear a buzzer, I'll tell you to try again. Okay. Please remind everyone the answer Barbara gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Coffee is one food you can hear cooking. Name another. Um, oh, meat. Roasting. A fruit tree. A uh, fig. A room in the house with a clock in it. Living room. Try again. A uh, bedroom. Out of 10, how many people always tell the truth? About five. Something used to apply makeup? A brush. Try again. A sponge. A sponge. Turn it on. Probably one food you can hear cooking, name another. You said meat. I hate Sizzle. the noise it makes. Sizzle. 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 <laughs> Survey said zero. Popcorn was the number one answer. Fruit tree, you said a fig. Survey said oh. Oh. apple. Apple tree. I love apples. Yeah, there's a <laughs> room in the house with a clock in it. You said bedroom survey said 23. Yeah. <laughs> Kitchen was the number one room. Out of 10, how many people always tell the truth? You said five. That's it was the bad. number one answer. The number one answer tied with one person telling the truth or five. So you get number one oh. answer. Survey said. 16, you got 160. Something you used to apply makeup. You said a sponge. Brush was number one. You need 40 points. Survey said. Oh. Eight. 185 dollars every point. Total of $840. We will return. We'll return with more feuding families right after this.
Universe won one. And the game continues. Miss Universe won. Miss USA won. We'll see you here on the field. Bye bye. This is Gene Woods speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Trotten production. Family Feud International Beauties Contest, introducing the five Miss USA's, Janine Ford, Mary Therese Friel, Kim Tone Dutton, Barbara Peterson, and Judy Anderson, ready for action. And five Miss Universes, Sean Weatherly, Corina Sofe, Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Janelle Comission and Margaret Gardner. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> this is stop of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. How you doing? I look the pretty. Hello. Well, it's day three of this magical time. Miss USA have one game. Miss Universe have one game. They're playing for the best out of five. They're both playing for charity. Let me tell you, the Miss Universe ladies have won $1,335 for, for UNICEF. It's worthy cause. I've won $5,000 up here today to be one. And for the American Lung Association, Miss USA, $1,414, okay? They won yesterday. Let's see how it goes. Make them feel at home. Miss USA. Stop. Hey, hey, yeah, come. We'll give them up. Yeah. It's gorgeous. What a You really came out the last game and played very strong. Going to win today or not? Well, I, as you can see, we are out for blood today. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. Very bright. I thought it was Christmas <laughs> game for a second. I thought I've got to send all those gifts. Let's We're meet serious. everybody. Okay. You can abbreviate. You don't have to do with that. Like whole me thing. Well, just for you, because you've got so much to learn. Just okay. We'll skip the years yeah. this time. I guess that's okay. okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, yeah, Barbara. You all look gorgeous. Okay. First, we have Mary Therese Friel from New York. Hi, Richard. Darling. And next, our Texas girl, Miss Kim Tomes Dutton. <laughs> <laughs> number three name. She's married now. That's right. Next is Barbara Peterson from Minnesota. Thank you. And mm -hmm. on the end, we have a lovely lady from Hawaii, Miss Judy Anderson. Mahalo. <laughs> Aloha. Mahalo. <laughs> now, where do you live? I am from a small farming community. It's called Gilbert, and that's in Arizona. And you live in Arizona? Well, I'm not living in Arizona now. I'm living with Sean. We're roommates in New York, in Are Manhattan. You? Yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. With the right no, She has a boyfriend. I've already talked. Well, <laughs> yes. she told me about him, a football player. We'll talk right. about him when I get over there. Do you have a gentleman in your life? Yes, I do. You don't have to mention him. <laughs> someone who's special. Yes, he's special. Loma Big Occasionally. Kid. Loma Big Kid. <laughs> to John. Yeah, that's for John. On the occasions, you're good, John. Watch your language. Yeah. Here's our lawyer, Mary oh, Teresa. Uh, nice yes, to have you thank here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Young lady who interrupted her honeymoon. Four <laughs> weeks. Has Hi. a cold, mm. but I still love you. Thank oh, you, Kim, for thank being you. here. I love that hair. I love the way you look. Always well, wear your I hair like I like the way that. you look, too. <laughs> oh, but that is so beautiful. It's thank you. Very Latin. <laughs> Don't just stand there, jump on grapes. Well, I can't because I've got new shoes on and they oh. hurt my feet. <laughs> they are nice. And here's my love from the islands. Mm, my favorite state. Oh, it's nice to hear. They don't have, they, although they have our nighttime specials in Hawaii, they don't have feud there. Oh, no, they do. No, they, they don't. 
I'm there all the well, time. Well, everybody there knows about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because everybody talks. Mm -hmm. I have lots of friends there who play, but they should have it now that Gosh, you're there making should. a big star. <laughs> Here they are, Miss Universe. Let's hear it. Come on. <laughs> Want to blow a kiss? Mm. How are you? Yes. Let's meet everybody and do it very uh, Gosh, easily. Gosh. Well, we're individuals today. <laughs> and we all wore different colors, but that's today. Give, give it a little bit more spunk. Gotcha. All right? And this is Karina. And she was originally from Greece, Greece, and she was Miss Universe in 1964. Uh, she's not cutting yet. Year. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to do the year. Oh, okay. Just roll along. This is oh, Sylvia. Oh, we won't do that anymore. Okay. <laughs> this is Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, <laughs> and she was Miss Universe 1967. Uh, forget the year. <laughs> gotcha. uh, okay. That's, I didn't know you were serious. Okay, forget it. They could all be Miss Universes now. Anyways. Exactly. And here's. And the next is Janelle Commission from Trinidad. Right. And the last one was Margaret Gardner from South Africa. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> and you, the love of your life, I think his name, you told me his name was Dwight. Dwight. And he's a football player. Yes, he's for a the wide 49ers. receiver. For the 49ers. Mm hmm. Yeah. What's his name? Dwight Clark. Better blow hey, him Dwight. a kiss. I miss you. Oh, huh? John and Dwight are doing okay. <laughs> Welcome. My darling. That's so good. When did you come from Greece? In 64. I came here in 62. I was waiting for two years and you never called. <laughs> I call you and you never return my call. That's that. Gotta get rid of that service. Gotta get rid of that service. <laughs> my darling, you look beautiful. Oh, well, We're delighted you. to have you here. Thank you. My little Trinidad, you came down on time this time, didn't you? Sure did. Yeah, she came down a <laughs> few steps early. In the Cape Town beauty. You know something? What? Judy and I are also roommates. With you, say, and I. What? Roommate yes. with Judy? Yes, in New York. Does anybody else need a roommate? <laughs> you well, have a new one already. Here. Let's go. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> no, you're married. Come on, let's go. All right. For this question, we asked 100 women, no men. 100 women. We asked them a question. Top five answers are on the board. You gotta get the most popular answer. Here's the question we asked the women. We said, name something you put on when you wanna drive your husband mad with desire. Yes. Sexy negligee. Negligee, hey. is it y'all? Woo! Number one answer. What are you gonna do? Play We're gonna play. Play? You play. All right. Yes, we're we're gonna play, my darling. All right? Okay. 100 women. Name something you put on when you wanna drive your husband mad with desire. A sexy dress would do the job too, no? It certainly would with me. <laughs> sexy dress? <laughs> hmm. Well, negligee was mine. Um, bathing suit? Why not? Let's take a look. <laughs> a bathing suit! Good. Yes. <laughs> How about exotic perfume? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Exotic perfume. How oh, about um, stockings in a garter belt? Oh. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> stockings in a garter belt for all the money. And if it's not there, I'll give you some. Stockings in garter belt? Oh, not there. Oh, I gotta tell you, you're on the right track. She's blushing. How about. Um, Sexy, sexy lingerie. Lingerie? It's different from negligee, isn't it? Well, lingerie is different, isn't it? Isn't that like a... That's underneath things. Isn't it? Yeah. Underneath your uh, uh -huh. dress. No, that's the same. Uh, lingerie! <laughs> Anyone out there? Never mind, Greece will come to the front. Can you repeat? Of course I will. 100 women, we said name something you put on when you want to drive your husband mad with desire. Nothing at all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> are you, uh, are you married? Happily divorced. <laughs> Eureka! I've hit a gold mine! <laughs> Happily divorced? What a lovely phrase. <laughs> oh my. I hope it's there. Oh. Nothing for all the money! <laughs> the universe is on the board and we will return.
question's over. Miss Universe has the money. $91, nothing there yet. No, it's at eight. It's gone. No, let's go. One hundred people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that gets wet when you use it. Bathing suit. Bathing suit. Very good. One answer will beat that, Maddie, today. How about a raincoat? A raincoat. Not there. Good answer, darling. Not there, pass. that's all. Pass. Are you sure? Play. 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 Are you? Pass. Play. Pass. Play. 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 There's a little M Melina McCoury in her. I love it. Play. Good girl. This one. All right. Okay, you're Something clothing. Something that gets I mean, uh, yeah. wet when you use it. Your clothing. Drown the rain. Well, we had a raincoat. You want? You have to be. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. Now, wait a minute. Something that gets wet when you use it. Go on. Sponge. Sponge. Simple. I mean, that's a good answer. Whether it's there or not, a good answer. You That's use a sponge, it gets wet. A sponge. How about umbrella? Okay, an umbrella. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Good play, good play. Good play. How about a shower cap? Shower cap is another goodie. Shower cap. <laughs> not there. Oh. Margaret, that was a good answer. Just did not make our top six answers. That's all. Sean. Anything gets wet when you use it. Um, rain boots. Rain boots. Oh. Keep falling on my head. Yeah. Rain boots. Oh. A soap. Soap. Is it? Soap? Yeah. 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 If it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Soap. <laughs> not there. Thirty-eight dollars up here, dollars. You get it. You get in the game. One, two, three answers still unrevealed. Towel. Towel. What do you think? Towel. You're so cute. What do you think? <laughs> Excuse me, I think a towel or a washcloth. You give me one. Towel. Towel. Okay. Towel's there, you get the $38. If not, big leap at Miss Universe. Towel! You got it? <laughs> number one. Washcloth. And number six. Right. Well, I must be doing it wrong. We'll be back right after this. Ninety-one dollars, Miss Universe. Miss USA is thirty-eight dollars. Okay, the first team gets three hundred. We'll pay for five thousand dollars for their charities. All the values are double. 100 women surveyed again. 100 women, no men. Top five answers are on the board. Here's the question we asked the women. Name a place you might feel funny going without a date. Dinner. Dinner. Yeah. I would, yeah. Oh. Where would you feel uh, funny going without a date? Um. Three seconds. I'm only thinking of a wedding, I don't know. But a wedding? Let's try it. A wedding. No, particularly if you're involved in the wedding, never go. Don't go by yourself. Play or pass. Dinner. Play. 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 They're gonna play. Okay. One hundred women. We said name a place you might feel funny going without a date. Um. Well, it's a little hard to dance without someone. I so, so I would suggest maybe a disco. Yeah, disco. Keep giving me number one. That's good. Well, to a party? Party is a good answer. Party! $120. Two answers left, no strikes on you. Jimmy. How about to a movie? To a movie, that's good. Let's look. 100 people, any of them say a movie? <laughs> You're rolling along today. Must be the red. Don't say that, because I haven't got one right yet. <laughs> You're doing fine. You're Can I be... tell you something first? Yeah. And I asked him if I could tell you. I just want to say that I represent the Ameri American Fitness Centers and National Safety Council, and I want to ask for support for the National Safety Council. Sure. All okay? our friends will That's my do corporation, that. and they're just super people. Okay. Sure, they'll do it, I got too. my answer. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Our audience is very nice, and they'll support you. Thank you very much. Okay. And she's going to be a lawyer. We've got to give her all the support we can. Or I'll get you. Okay. <laughs> and threaten them. They turn up. <laughs> 100 women, name a place you might feel funny going without a date. I'd hate to go into a bar. Bar? I'd, okay. You know, a yeah. bar maybe where there isn't a disco, but just to pick up I got place. you, Don. You know? The bar's there. You got all the money. Bar! Now, Miss USA is 230. 91. Come on, you know. <laughs> right, jumped into a big lead here, Janelle. It's up to you. I'll try to fix that. Okay. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question Tell me a common American last name Smith. Smith. Play oh, we'll definitely play. Can you play? Play. Okay. Okay, Kane. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd have to say uh, my last name, Anderson. Yes. yes. Anderson? Yeah. Okay. Totally. <laughs> I thought you would say something like Mukuluku. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good Hawaiian, Hawaiian name yeah. like that. Who would have gotten a laugh? Not if I said it, if she said it. Anderson? Mm -hmm. Take a look. Anderson! <laughs> Yeah, Mukuluku, maybe. Yeah. First try, no problem. No problem. A common American last name. Let's try Jones. Jones oh, yeah. And along came Jones. <laughs> I know that feeling. Isn't that terrible? You're sitting over there. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Except that you can only hope that they strike out. They seem to be rolling along here. He only says that before he gets to me. Wait a minute. You gave me the okay answer before. last time to close the board up. Okay. You were great. So I did good? Bar was a great <laughs> answer, wasn't it? Okay. How about white? White is a good answer. White? Let's take a look. Okay. We're looking for a common uh, American last name, white. <laughs> not there. Two strikes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, how about Clark? Clark? Okay. Well, let's take a look. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry is called Clark. It was there, all right. If not, third strike. Clark! No! You can get in the game now and get the $184. Johnson. Just think of an answer. Johnson. Common American last name. Johnson. You doesn't have to call me Johnson. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, if Johnson's there, you get the 184 If not, you've won another game. You'll play for $5,000. I think it's a good idea. Johnson! Number <laughs> four. Wow. 2.75 now, 2.30. This will do it. Let's go. Come on. Right. Mark you down for being tardy, Judy. <laughs> Congratulations for getting up here, Margaret. Uh, Thank you. Dollar values are tripled. 100 uh, people surveyed. Top three answers on the board. This is going to decide the game. Name something made of foam rubber. A mattress. A mattress. Great. One answer will be it. A pillow. A pillow. You got it. We're going to play a pass. We're going to play. Two good players. All righty. Just one answer up there. If it's correct, you'll play for another $5,000, and you'll be two games up in our tournament. Something made of foam rubber. Let's try cushions like furniture. Good okay. answer. Yeah. Furniture. No. Nope. Oh. How about a, a toy, a child's toy, Let's some squishy? Take a look, then, darling. A child's squishy toy. <laughs> no, nope. oh. I don't squishies. Well, something made of foam rubber. I have a nasty one I don't want to say. <laughs> if it means Go you're going to win, say it, say it you know. If it means you're going to win, I don't know what you're going to say. How about a woman's underclothing that she wears above the navel, you know? <laughs> Can you, you have to be a little more, be a little more specific. Why, there's nothing wrong in saying that. Say it. It starts with a B. I know a B, and then... Ends with an A, a. and there's an R in the middle. Gotcha, all right, fine. <laughs> You're a newlywed, aren't you? This woman suddenly became a recluse over the word bra. There's nothing wrong in that. It's just a 
Oh, I wish I hadn't thought of a bra. I didn't think got, of anything. Got me excited again. The bra's there. You'll be two games up in the tournament. You'll play for five thousand dollars. If not, get ready to steal. Bra. <laughs> She was almost too shy to say it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did you know it? I do have a request here. They want to know how did you know that, but we we will not I even know. get into it. <laughs> two people to play for the big money. Who's gonna do it? Let's go. Two people. Come on. This person. Janine Kim is going for five thousand dollars for the American Lung Association. You might have to rewatch this. Yeah. Welcome to Family Feud's Portrait Pointers. Make sure your shot is action-packed. Show off your best side. And above all, remember the deodorant. On Family Feud Classic. Available 24 hours a day. Watch now. That's for luck. Step in a little bit. Okay. You're going to win $5,000. I just know it. Hope 15 so. seconds, too. please. Okay. Name a part of the face. Oh, eyes. A flower in a bride's bouquet. Carnation. <clears throat> Famous news magazine. Time. A high paying sport. Football. Something that relieves a muscle cramp. Massage. Turn around. Oh. You're very good. Part of the face. You said, oh. Uh, I survey said 18. Flower and a bride's bouquet. You said carnation. Survey said 21. And the news magazine is the time. Many, please. Survey said 47. High pain sport. Almost a little slur. You said football. Survey said 42. 128. Something that relieves the muscle cramp. You said massage. Survey said. Hey, Kim, Kim, Kim. Oh, I'm so happy. 24 points is all you need oh, for $5,000. Remind everyone the answer Janine gave us to me. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name a part of the face. A nose. A flower in a bride's bouquet. A rose. A famous news magazine. Newsweek. A high paying sport. Um, sports cast. Um, I'm sorry, football. Try again. Uh, baseball. Something that relieves a muscle cramp. Uh, Ben Gay. <laughs> yeah. That's well, we, we call it Ben uh, alternate lifestyle now. <laughs> Name a part of the face. And you said? 
The nose, 24 points for $5,000. Survey set. You got the money. The top answer is on the board. See if you got it when we return. Best out of five, we've got one game from Miss Universe, two games from Miss yeah, USA. Yeah. For UNICEF, so far, you have $1,610. For the American Lung Association, $6,899. Now we're going to find out what happens right here on the screen. Bye-bye. This is Gene Woods speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Rudman production. It's time for the Family Feud International Beauties Contest. Introducing five Miss USA's, Janine Ford, Mary Therese Friel, Kim Tomes Dutton, Barbara Peterson, and Judy Anderson. Ready for action. And five Miss Universes, Sean Weatherly, Corina Sofay, Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Janelle Comision, and Margaret Gardner. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. This has been a fun week. We've had some delightful women here playing, playing for charity. Miss Universe are playing for UNICEF. So far, they've won $1,610. We congratulate <laughs> Miss USA are playing for the American Lung Association. They have won $6,899. Beautiful. <laughs> And today's an important day because we're playing the best out of five games. Score so far, one for my loves over there, Miss Universe.
two games from this USA. If they win today, it back to the universe. <laughs> You're not going to let that happen, are you? Anyway, they won the last time. Make them feel at home. They're my loves, Miss USA, right now. <laughs> well, are you going to do it or not? We're going to do it. We're going to do absolutely, it. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's meet all of these lovelies. You're going to cut it short this time? Sure. Oh, the abbreviated okay. version. Okay, and these are, I might add, the last five Miss USA's right in a row. And they're dynamite. Yes, they are. <laughs> First, we have Mary Therese Friel. Hello. Hello. Then we have Kim Tomes Dutton. Hi. Hello, love. Then lovely Barbara Peterson. Hi. Barbara. And Judy Anderson. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. So do you think you're going to polish them off today? It was the last time they all came out in red, and they said, we're out for blood, and you did win the second oh. game. Like this that? Go away, black. You place. also, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be in mourning. This is my lawyer. She's practicing hard. She's going to be a lawyer. And that's marvelous. Definitely. You'll handle my case. Oh, I'll keep, keep, take you up on that. Mm. It's my newlywed, Kim. <laughs> left her honeymoon. Her husband, four weeks. All by himself, I hope. <laughs> yes, I know. He's waiting for you faithfully. Different hairstyle today. Oh, absolutely. And it looks gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. And Miss Oahu right here. Oahu. This lovely <laughs> he says it right. lives in the island that I adore. And I go there, I think 11 years I've been going there. Oh, really? Wow. And I've never seen you. But boy, am I going to look hard the next time I get there. <laughs> here my darlings right over here. Miss Universe, make them feel at home. <laughs> You're going to win, aren't you? Got to. Got to. You know that. Let me meet everybody. The short version, no years. No years. Right? Well, you can't no tell years, anyway. Those aren't even important. Okay. This is Karina Zacks, left. Next to her is Sylvia Hitchcock Carson and Janelle Commission. And Janelle. last but not least, Margaret Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to win. You know that. Yes. If you win, then we go to the fifth day. And if you win, you then got a chance to go for $5,000. They, they're already 6000 on up. You know I want you to get it. Here's my favorite Greek. <laughs> <laughs> You're gorgeous. Thank you. Where in Greece were you born? Athens. Of course. That's like you ask a Frenchman. They always say Paris. <laughs> Hello, pretty. Oh. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. This and is I'm fun that you take your time out to play for charity, and I, I just want you to win money. So. I can't think of anything better. I have two gorgeous children, so I know what it's like uh, being a mother and okay. caring for other people. And here's my love from Trinidad. Hello. Who is sort of involved. I did try to get on first base here, but she told me, well, how, what was the phrase you used about your young man? Kind of? Kind of involved, right. Kind of involved. <laughs> I'm not committing myself. Oh, you're not? No. Well, in that case, I, maybe I should be committed. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of us should go somewhere. And Margaret's in South Africa, Cape Town. Hello. What a lovely city. That's a beautiful city. Sure is. It's on, well, where I live is on the beachfront, and we've got mountains, and the people are nice and suntanned. And you it's like good, that. yeah. Well, we're not exactly chopped liver here. No, you're, you're pretty good, well, pretty thank hard. You. We try hard. Come on now, let's play the few. Let's go. <laughs> One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. You got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question: Tell me an excuse people use when they want to leave a boring party. I have a headache. Got a headache, said Sean. Woo! One answer. You're gonna play or pass? Play. 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 Wouldn't you know it? I'm here with these five beauties. I've got a headache. Name an excuse people use when they want to leave a boring party. They have to get up very early the next morning. That's a goodie. I've used that myself. Yep. Got to get up early. Works. Always works. Well. I have to relate to this one. My babysitter has. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah, very yeah. Good. yeah, the babysitter. Yeah. Good, that's good. The commitment. Uh huh. All righty. There we are. Committed again. <laughs> I'm committed <laughs> later. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but they're tired. I'm tired. I'm just yeah. so tired. I had that's, a hard day. Of that's work. a goodie. I like that. I'm tired. This is the way I like you to start. With one answer left, you'll have a nice lead to start the game. Excuse people use when they want to leave a boring party. 
um, their spouse is at home waiting for them or something. Okay. Someone's waiting for them. My better half. Yes. <laughs> spouse! <laughs> oh. That's second. Go home. I have to go home. Three seconds. Somebody sick. Somebody's sick. If it's there, you got all the money. If not, Miss USA, get ready to steal. Somebody's sick? No. Nope. $91 up there is yours. If you give me the right answer to your name, what have you come up with? Emergency? Emergency. There's an emergency in the family. Want to go home and watch Emergency? No. <laughs> Randy Mantooth. I never miss one of his shows. Emergency, you gotta go home. All right, right. right. an emergency's there. You get the $91. If not, Sean and the ladies get it. Emergency! Ah! You got it. Ah! Number five, please. Children. Yeah, I, I usually use that. I say, I'm expecting a child. I'll come to your next party. We'll be back right after. You. Universe say they're going for the gusto. They got $91 there, nothing there. Mary today. Come on. On under people survey, top seven answers on the board. Long question. Listen. Cosmopolitan magazine recently published a list of foods conducive to good sex. I told you it was a long question. Uh, tell me a food you think was on the list. Oysters. Oysters! <laughs> what are you going to do? Chicken. What are you going to do? Pass. 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 Play. Pass. No, pass. What are you going to do, Don? Pass. I'll test them if they know. Really? Yeah. Give them to them? All right. <laughs> you want to go to an oyster bar later? Or, uh, <laughs> This is not hard enough. Oh, wine? Wine, I said. Oh, wine? Oh, good. Wine? <laughs> so good. Um, hors d'oeuvres or uh, <laughs> the cheese? <laughs> no, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Listen, chili. Say, yeah, do, don't say a lot of different answers. <laughs> no, no. I can't. You cannot I, say. I'd say Ludwig's, but I already no, said No, don't that. keep saying that. Last... Okay. I'm only supposed to get one answer. They can steal it, and if they got all the money... If by... they want to steal Ludwig's, they can. Oh, well, of course, yeah. I'll say chili. Chili? I know it sets me on fire, dear. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, that's I great. Can't believe I the just two of you run into the bathroom all night. 
That's always great for good sex. Chili. Oh, Barbara, Barbara. Well, oh, there's only one that I can really think of. Ice cream? No. Ice cream? Oh. Okay. I can't. The frigid uh, parents. Ice cream. Oh. No, ice cream's all right if you wear it, but not for eating. How about something sticky and sweet? Honey? 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 Let's take a look. Honey's there all right, if not third strike. Honey! <laughs> well, Miss Universe, your strategy may have worked because there's a lot of answers up there, five of them, as a matter of fact, unanswered. All you have to do is give me one. Mango. Passion fruit. Mango, I think. Passion fruit. Passion fruit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh, no, passion fruit. No, passion fruit? Passion. Is that it? Yeah. Passion fruit. Passion All right. Fruit. Passion, passion fruit. fruit's there. You get the money. Big lead in the game. If not, we're going to give it over there. Passion fruit. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> See, you would have had that money if you hadn't passed. Mm -hmm. Grape. Four. Ah. The only trouble is with those, you keep slipping out of bed. Five. Oh my gosh. It's a romantic thing. Eggs. That's great. Eggs. I can't believe it. Number six. I thought I was going to learn something. Okay. Number seven. What about Twinkies? <laughs> no, I don't. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Miss Universe, $91. Miss USA, $31. Let's go! <laughs> Dollar values are doubled. 100 women, we asked. No men. 100 women. Top six answers are on the board. Here's the question we asked the women. We said, tell me a household chore that you've gone months without doing. Dusting. Dusting! <laughs> yeah? One answer will be that, baby. Household chore you've gone months without doing. I'd have to say washing the windows. Yeah. Washing yes. the windows. Yes. 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 Where did I lose the control of it? Okay, you can walk me back. Oh. Are you going to play? play? Oh, they are going to play. Excitement. Yeah. <laughs> Oysters. Three seconds. Ironing. Let's look. That's Ironing. Not there. Oh. Margaret. Vacuuming. Vacuum. Oh, Vacuuming. Well, I said to 100 women, name a household chore you've gone months without doing. Mop the floor. Without mopping the floor? Uh -huh. All right. If it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Mopping the floor? <laughs> no. Nope. $106 up here for you, darlings. You get it? Right now, you can take a big lead. What do you think? Cleaning, cleaning. Cleaning like the closets, you storage. You're supposed to say it. You're the head. Oh, here. okay. I'm supposed to say it. Okay. One thing that I neglect neglect to do is clean my closet. Okay. We're like, Fine. we all agreed. We'd all talk that over. Yeah. We're wondering when you're going to get to cleaning your closet. <laughs> it's filled with honey jars, I noticed. <laughs> cleaning the closet. There, you get the 106. If not, Sean and her ladies get it. Cleaning the closet. <laughs> Number three. Wash and roll. Oh. Number four. Cleaning the oven. Number six. Waxing the floor. 137.91. Let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question Name something that people like to snuggle up with in bed. Pillow. Pillow. Three answers will beat it, Barbara. Um, their spouse? Their spouse. There you go. 
We'll play a play. We'll, we'll play. If you had some of that Samarello fruit, you wouldn't need a pillow. This one's funny. Whatever it was called. Oh. And people like to snuggle up with in bed. Well, it's kind of cutesy, but um, teddy bear? Why yeah, not? Why not? A teddy bear! How about a big, soft comforter blanket? Comforter. Yeah. Blanket or blanket. Not a jar of honey. Please don't. I just asked you. I'm embarrassed. Not embarrassing you. I love you. Queen of the honey here. Blanket comforter for all the money. Is it there? No, for sure. Made you laugh so much you cry. Yeah. That's my answer, so I had a hard time. Um, Sorry to hear that. So am I. I <laughs> this is going to be really bad. A hot water bottle or a heating pad? I mean, there's only people me, out just there. Just give me one answer. <laughs> well, you don't snuggle with a heating pad, but kind of with a hot water bottle. Is that the one you're going to give me? Yeah, I guess that's Bye, thank you. <laughs> Should be great I'm trying to get court, away from it. Can't you tell? Hot water bottle! <laughs> no. Oh. Kim? Kim, it's up to you. Come on, I think do people it. like what to snuggle, snuggle up snuggle with him back. Well, you're married now, but before. Does this mean when you're sleeping? In bed, dear. <laughs> In bed. It's absolutely. Uh, I mean, could you could snuggle up with a uh, good book? Oh, you could do that. Yes, could you, but do you have to actually? You can't read like this. Doesn't matter. While you're ahead. Okay. Turn over a new page. Think of the fun you'd have there. <laughs> snuggle up with a good book. If it's there, you are the champ. One more time. A good book. We did it. Okay, okay. Who's gonna play? Two people. Come along, please. I need both of you now. Come on, come on. Barbara and Judy. You first, Judy. Judy and Barbara are going for the money right after we watch this. Well done. Class, welcome to Family Feud's Portrait Pointers. First pointer, make sure your shot is action-packed. Show off your best side. If someone, ah, if someone passes out during the shoot, please prop them up. Conga lines are always fun. Be sophisticated when hiding wrinkles. And above all, remember the deodorant. Where can I get more Family Feud Portrait Pointers? On Family Feud Classic, available 24 hours a day. Watch now.
Do you realize that Miss USA, they've won the tournament? Well, I hope Three so. games to one. Yeah. <laughs> when you're playing for the American uh, Lung Association, you've got a chance for $5,000 more. You know what I'd really like to do? Because this is just a week and we've got one odd day. Why don't we have our darlings here play one more time? And they've still not won oh. the champ, but they've got a chance to win another 5000 Or your, your team as well. Would you like to do that? Yeah. All right. So we'll do, do one more show. After, all right. Ready? Yep. That's for luck. 15 <laughs> seconds, okay. please. Here we go. How long would you say is the average executive's lunch break? An hour. Name any southern state. Um, South Carolina. Something you always see at a front door. Um, a doormat. Something made of leather. A belt. Something you'd find Mickey Mouse's picture on. Um, on a... <laughs> Finish it. Up on a, a what, what is it? A poster. Poster, yeah. I thought you were gonna say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long would you say the average executive's lunch break is? You said an hour. Survey said. Very <laughs> And the southern state, you said? South Carolina. There they said? Three. Three. Something you always see at a front door, you said? Right. Doormat, sir, they said? Look, that's a good answer. Something made of leather, you said a belt? Sir, they said? 27, one oh eight. Something you'd see, Mickey Mouse's picture on him, you said, well, you know, the um, uh, poster. And I said, of course, poster. Sir, they said? Oh, oh. You mean we did all that work for nothing then? Oh. <laughs> 108, go on back there. And now here's Barbara. Oh. I just have to tell you, because you were off stage and you didn't hear, what? we're going to play one more game with both of you, so you'll both have a chance to play for another 5,000. Isn't that exciting? You know, I've got to take an opportunity. We can't let it pass by without saying thank you to everybody here at the Family Feud family, which has made all of us feel so much at wow. home. The whole crew and the staff, you've just made everything to be thank such you. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for being here. You need 92 points for another $5,000 in American Lung, so please remind everyone the answers Judy gave us and give me 20 seconds on the clock. How long would you say is the average executive's lunch break? An hour and a half. Name any southern state. South Carolina. Try again. Georgia. Something you always see at the front door. The mailman. Something, something made of leather. A jacket. Something... <laughs> the mailman destroyed it. Wait, no, my 20 you're seconds You're fine. No, no. I'll give you 100 seconds. If you make... No, no. Okay. I'm going to read it to you. If you All make right. me laugh, I can do that. The mailman is a great answer. That's that guy. Every time I open the door, <laughs> I've been terrified to leave my house. I thought it was a mugger. It's the mailman. Here's the question. Name something you'd find Mickey Mouse's picture on. Uh, a hat. Turn around. Here we go. Good job. How long is that lunch break? You said an hour and a half? Number one answer. Survey said? 35. And the southern state, you said Georgia. Number one answer, survey said. Oh, yeah, that's Something you always see at the front door, you said the mailman. <laughs> Wearing a doormat, survey said. Ah. I'm so surprised. You are, well, I can understand that. Doormat was number one. Something made of leather, you said. Jacket, you need 26 points for another $5,000, survey said. Eight. Oh. Hmm. Boots and shoes, number one answer, boots and shoes. Those then, are very important, too. Well, they happen to be the number one. That's why it's important. Something you see Mickey Mouse's picture on. You said a hat. Now, at Disneyland, you see all those kids in his yeah, picture. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. His pictures on it. Number one answer, I, however, was a, a watch. Oh, a watch. Oh. But you need 18 points for $5,000 oh. for a hat. Our survey said six. Oh. 188, $5 for every point, total of... 940, and you're gonna play tomorrow. Excellent. We'll be back right after you. Thank you. We'll return with more feuding families right after this.
Well, you are the winners. I mean, you're going to get the trophies. The you did win. But, although you won a lot of money, I think, what, 8166 for the American Lung Association, you're going to get a chance to win 5000 for your charity. Right. This universe so far, for you to seven, one, $1,701. We'll see who wins the money tomorrow, and we'll see you here on The Feud. Bye-bye. <laughs> This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. It's time for the Family Feud International Beauties Contest. Introducing five Miss USA, Janine Ford, Mary Therese Friel, Kim Tom Dutton, Barbara Peterson, and Judy Anderson. Ready for action. And five Miss Universes, Sean Weatherly, Karina Sope, Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Janelle Comision, and Margaret Gardner. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. How you doing? Well, I have an announcement, of course. Uh, the competition is over, and the winners, Miss USA, it was the best out of five, and you won. Congratulations. At the end of the show, we'll give you trophies that we always give whoever wins our competition. We congratulate you. Now, these are, I have to tell you, are ten of the most beautiful women, and they, they've given their time, and I want to thank both organizations, by the way, for, you know, helping us set this up, because they're playing for charity, and we've had a great week. So this is just a bonus day where they'll get another chance. One of the charities will get another $5,000 if you win it, and you know we want you to. Miss Universe has been playing for UNICEF. So far, they've won $1,701. <laughs> Got a chance to make that another $6,000. Miss USA team for the American Lung Association, $8,166. <laughs> So today's our big special bonus day. The champs, Miss USA team, right here, making for the home. Well, you did it, didn't you? Yes, we did. Let's meet them all. I'm gonna miss you all. Let me meet them. We'll come back. Sure. <laughs> First we have... In another life. <laughs> in another life, right. Oh. First we have Mary Therese Friel. Hi, Mary. Hi, we're gonna miss you too. Uh, it's gotta be kind of nice. <laughs> Next we have Miss Kim Tomes Dutton. Hi. Hi, darling. And right down the line is Barbara Peterson. Certainly has been a fun week. Thank you, Bob. And then we have lovely Judy Anderson on the end. Uh, Thank you. Very pretty Wahoo. <laughs> You've been down. I thank you for handling all the introductions for the week, and we're going to have fun. Thank you. Good luck with thank your you. career and your thank big little college. Your cold and your wedding. I want them both to get better and better and better. <laughs> Thank you so All much. All right. Thank you for being a, a hey, sweetheart. I have, to, I have to tell you, I've got a scarf on, which is kind of unique okay. because the American Lung Association gave it oh. to me before I came here as kind of a good luck symbol. Look at, and it's Christmas made seals. with all the Christmas seals on Look it. Look at that. Isn't and it really, really brought you luck because. It really did. You so won. I, Isn't that pretty? Yeah. That is so pretty. Benefit. We all benefit from it. Sure. That. My little darling from. Aloha. Oahu, yeah, Oahu, Oahu from, come on, here's Hawaii. the darlings, they got up there and they fought their hearts out, today they may get $5,000, my darlings from Miss Universe, Dawn, win for me now, okay, let me meet all the rascals, okay, all the rascals, starting with Karina, she's the biggest rascal, she is a rascal, yeah. and then next is Sylvia, yeah, and the next is Janelle, and on the end is Margaret, hi, <laughs> We had some good questions yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yes. We learned uh, one exciting thing about the use of oysters. 
<laughs> you got the sheriff's badge on here today? Yeah. My oldest boy gave it to me. It's very for handsome. For Christmas, so I worked for good luck. Uh, well, I hope it's luck today because you can win some money. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Donald, Thank you. for being here. Yeah. You had a nice time. I had a nice You've got time. two children. Yes, two gorgeous children. Give them a, a hug. Let me, let me tell you about my little children. I have a little boy. Yeah, <laughs> named? He's six and a half. Jonathan. Hi, yeah. Jonathan. And Christiane. She's two and a half. And I have a husband, too. Well, be that as it may, I can't <laughs> just <laughs> hang around here. You just have a gentleman. That's all. Okay. That's all. That's all. And a fruit that does some right. good work. Uh, hello. You live in New York now. Mm. Do you? Yes. With uh, Judy? With Judy. I want to thank you for having us here. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, well, we're going to have a good time. We want to yeah. give some money away. Let's play the field. Let's go. <laughs> this is it. We're going to do it. <laughs> 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. You gotta turn and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something a woman likes to show off. Yeah. Jewelry. Jewelry. <laughs> Two answers will be it, Tom. Um, when they lose weight, to show off their figure. When their figure. <laughs> Number one answer. <laughs> gonna play or pass? We wanna play. Gonna play. I'm gonna play, my daughter. Something a woman likes to show off. Her clothing. Her clothes. Her clothes. Yeah. 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 Huh, I like to. What do I think about a woman? Um, she likes to show off her um, furs. That's yes, fair. Where? Oh, clothing furs. I didn't see furs. It's okay. All right. um, the way she walks. Show off her walk. Walk her walk. Fine. I don't know. I'm going to show off my driveway a little later. <laughs> ladies like to show off their walk. No, not bad. Now? How about if she happens to have a handsome boyfriend? Right. Okay. Right. Yes. Her bow. Her bow. No bow. No go on the bow. What about her children, if she's got beautiful oh, yeah. children? Yes. Yes. Amazing, I thought that yeah, the no, moment so I got to Sylvia, right. <laughs> who helped Sorry, me up children. for three and a half minutes, telling me the size, weight, <laughs> the color of the eyes of her children, she never said children. I can't believe it either. It was there, darling, okay, if not third strike. Her children? Yes. Yes. Good girl, Martin. One more, and you got a nice start for the game. Something a woman likes to show off. House or a place where she lives? Okay. Yeah, that's good. For a house is there, you've got it all. House! <laughs> this universe is on the mark. We'll be back right after this.
Miss Universe, $97. Miss UFA, nothing yet. Mary Kay. <laughs> One hundred people surveyed top six answers on the board. Here's the question. If you could own any automobile in the world, which one? Rolls Royce. A Rolls Royce. What are you gonna do? We're gonna definitely play. We're gonna yes. play. Okay. Hey, hey. Okay. If you could own any automobile in the world, which one would it be? Well, I own this. Mercedes. Yes. Okay. Mercedes. How about Jensen? I'll have it at your house in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jensen! Oh, the hip car, I like it. Yeah. How about a Jaguar? Oh, yeah. Yes, Jaguar. Gave one to my mother-in-law, bit her leg off. Remember that joke? <laughs> Jaguar! <laughs> no, not there. Oh, that's the car I thought I would have liked. What do you think? How about... Any automobile in the world. Oh, a would... Porsche. Porsche. Oh, yes. Porsche's there, all right. If not, third strike. Porsche! <laughs> you got it. Come on, you got expensive taste. Tell me. A Ferrari. Yeah. Uh huh, Ferrari. Again, if it's there, all right. If not, Donald's get ready to steal. Ferrari! <laughs> $43. It can be yours. Come on down. Make your decision here. Don't trip. Don't trip. Here we go. We believe in the Corvette. Corvette over here. <laughs> well? Corvette and Cadillac. Darling, you Cadillac. have to tell me a buzzer winner. Cadillac. We'll go with Cadillac. Cadillac sounds like a winner. If it's there, you get the money. If not, a big lead. Cadillac? <laughs> oh. Number four? No. No. Okay. No. Number five? No. Bad news for Chrysler. The K car didn't show. We'll be back right after that. <laughs> Darlings, uh, I have a little announcement to make. We're very honored. We have some sopranos. You'll hear them in a minute when I mention where they're from. They made us a nice sign. They want to send you all there. Like they're all from Brooks College. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. That is so high, Dobermans are waking up all over town. Say, what the hell is that? $97 there, $43 there. Let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something you'd put on the table only if you were expecting company. Yeah. Your good silver. Good silver. Four answers will be. I would say your good china. The good china. You got it. What are you going to do? I've said this before. I'm so sorry. Want to play? <laughs> I want to play. Yeah, play. Do I want to play? We have played. The only woman ever abandoned her children at birth. She just ran away there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say no, that. No, you don't tell you. Something you put on the table only if you're expecting company. Good glassware? No, no, no. Glassware. Good. <laughs> no? How about um, a lovely tablecloth and table napkins? Very nice. One or the other. Which one would you like? Oh, um, tablecloth. I think but so. They nice tablecloth. <laughs> hey, that's good. You put on the table, oh, you're expecting company. Um, nice napkins, not the paper kind. Nice ones. Nice ones. Well, there, there are some nice paper ones you can get now. <laughs> napkins. <laughs> there you go. Well. Beautiful flower arrangement. Yeah. Flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. You do that when I come to dinner? Definitely. All right. Flower arrangement. Woo! Well, there's one me, more. Big so lead for you. the question at the beginning. What is it again? Yeah, something you <laughs> put on the table only if you were expecting company. Uh, candles. Candles. A lovely yeah. thought. Candles there. Big, big lead for you. Candles! Beautiful. 287 plays 43. Let's go. Come on. Come on, you now. Dollar values are still doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. The question is, 
Name something a bride does at her wedding. Throw the bouquet. She throws the bouquet. Yeah. One answer will beat it. Where's a wedding gown? It's essential. A wedding gown. <laughs> Not there. Right. Gonna play or pass? We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Okay. Well, unless it's a nudist wedding, then you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> something a bride does at her she wedding. She cries. Cries. That's well, number one. I hope so. Don't you? I hope so. Cries! Yes! What's the bride does at a wedding? And just remember, you're she... doing uh, Dwight, you're just good friends, so you... <laughs> I was going to ask you to remember, uh -huh. but you're not. Not married. No, you can't do that and be Miss Universe at the same time. Oh, I see. You can't be married? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're allowed to afterwards. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Dwight will probably pop the question when your reign is over. Mm -hmm. I spoke to George Fishbeck. He said the reign's over. <laughs> <laughs> He's the weatherman here. Uh, something Brad does at her wedding. Um, she gives the husband the ring. Gives her the ring? Yeah. Okay. In case he didn't have one. Here's the ring. <laughs> no. Cuts the cake. Cuts the cake. Cutting the cake. Cuts the cake. Oh. Okay. okay. What she does, what, what, something that a bride does at her wedding. Um, Same question I asked all of them. I thought it'd be fair. She kisses the groom. Kisses the groom. <laughs> Is there all right? If not, there's right. Kisses the groom. Yes. Of course she does. She kisses everybody. You're in a great slot here because there's just one answer left. You get it? You'll play for five thousand dollars for UNICEF. Dances with dances. the groom? All righty, yeah. If dances is there, you got it. If not, dollars get ready to steal. She dances. <laughs> not there. One hundred and fifty-eight dollars up there. It's yours. If you've got to give me the right answer, something the bride does at her wedding. She says I do. She says her vows, and I do. She says I do. Mm -hmm. Well, I did, vows. but. I do is there, you get the 158. If not, oh, yeah. I'm gonna play oh, for no. $5,000. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> oh. I do. <laughs> 287, 201. Come on. Come on. This will decide who'll play for the bonus of $5,000. Dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top three answers on the board. Here's just, just one hand. Uh -huh. Okay, here's the question. Name something every minister does. Yeah. He marries someone. He marries people. Yeah. Two answers will beat it. He um, has, uh, holds church services. He holds services. <laughs> Preaches the sermon. And a player pass. Play. We're gonna play, my love. All right, off you go. This will be another big comeback here. Something every minister does. Funeral service. Let's take a look. Funeral. <laughs> Mary. Oh, I'm not. How about confessions? Let's take a look at Listen that too. Confession. Oh. He says prayers. He says indeed. Yeah. He does indeed. A silent it's prayer. It's the same as this preaching a no, sermon. No, he gets up. The okay. other ones, okay. where he tells you all, you mustn't do the things that are so much fun to do. <laughs> if he prays, if it's there, you got it. If not, third strike and you can steal. Does he pray? <laughs> you know it? No, I thought it was Ah. Serena thought it was Christmas. Stay right here. Let's find out what's going to happen. Who's going to play for five thousand dollars? Two people right now. Who's first? Okay. Off you go. Mary Teresa, Kim, they go over the money right after we watch this. Okay. Class, welcome to Family Feuds Portrait Pointers. First pointer. Make sure your shot is action packed. Show off your best side. If someone, ah, uh, if someone passes out during the shoot, please prop them up. Conga lines are always fun. Be sophisticated when hiding wrinkles. 
And above all, remember the deodorant. Where can I get more Family Feud portrait pointers? On Family Feud Classic. Available 24 hours a day. Watch now. My favorite lawyer here, Mary. Thank you. We're playing for the American Lung Association. That's correct. The Lung Association. Want to get now? How much? You've already got over eight thousand dollars. Isn't that fantastic? You can get another five thousand right, right now. Walter. Fifteen oh, seconds, sorry. please. Name the age when girls start developing a figure. Fifteen. The age a woman's figure is best. Twenty. For a woman, how tall is too tall? Six feet. A soup that's often homemade. Chicken. Chicken noodle. A, a playful animal. A puppy. Turn around. Oh. Good job. Well done. I hope so. The age girl starts to bump me a figure. You said 15. Everybody said? Oh. Three. The age of woman's figure is best. You said 20. Everybody said? 17. For a woman, how tall is too tall? You said six feet. Everybody said? Oh. 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 Soup is often homemade. You said chicken. Everybody said? Oh. Oh. 41. A playful animal, he said, a puppy. Survey said. Oh! Good. 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 Here's Kim. Come on, babe. All you need, 39 points. Just for luck. Golly. 39 points, $5,000. Please remind everyone the answers Mary gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name the age when girls start developing a figure. 13. The age a woman's figure is best. Uh, 21. For a woman, how tall is too tall? 5'10". A soup that's often homemade. A vegetable. A playful animal. A puppy. Try again. A kitten. Turn around. <laughs> oh my God. What's the age of girls start developing a figure? You said 13. Uh -oh. You need 39 points for $5,000. Survey said. We'll return right after we survey 100 people. Keep it right here for more Family Feud Classic. <laughs> 